Em 2020, a polícia recebeu uma ligação assustadora. Mas esse não era um crime comum. Na verdade, o que aconteceu naquela noite chocou o país inteiro. E os policiais só descobriram o verdadeiro culpado dois meses depois. E era alguém que ninguém imaginava. Um homem chamado Eloy Lebron foi assassinado dentro do caminhão do seu trabalho. Ele trabalhava como comissário de bordo e tinha se mudado para a Flórida para ficar mais próximo de sua mãe, até que algo trágico aconteceu. Uma testemunha apareceu e revelou tudo o que aconteceu. Was he shooting like? Is he driving like this? You're, you're using his right hand. Yes, I'm sorry. He's shooting. Yeah, so like he's shooting that, across yeah, his body like this. Like that, right. Windows were down. Windows was window was like right here. Right here. Right there. Like halfway. Right, there. right halfway, so he can see. Ou seja, LeBron foi vítima de um crime cruel. The family of 41-year-old Eloy LeBron, telling News 6, Thursday evening, officers knocked on their door, telling them LeBron had been killed. It wasn't just another number, somebody who, who succumbed to um, the unfortunate events that are happening um, you know, in the world we live in today. He was a very good person. Mas quem teria feito algo cruel assim? Os policiais chegaram à conclusão de que um carro havia parado ao lado do caminhão e o motorista e o passageiro tinham feito os disparos. Mas é aí que surge a grande dúvida nesse caso. Quem eram os atiradores? A primeira coisa que fizeram foi assistir várias gravações de câmeras de segurança e rastrearam vários carros até que eles encontraram um suspeito. A polícia identificou a placa de um carro que estava no nome da mãe de Mark Angelia Hamilton e é aí que as coisas começaram a ficar estranhas. Eles descobriram que Mark estava usando o carro a acompanhada de uma amiga. Em uma das câmeras de segurança, é possível ver o carro chegando ao local em que o crime foi cometido minutos antes de tudo acontecer. Outra câmera revela que o carro saiu apressado de lá minutos depois. De início, elas não eram suspeitas, afinal, não é comum mulheres realizarem esse tipo de crime. Mas, obviamente, Márquia também foi ouvida pela polícia, e eles acabaram descobrindo algo que mudou toda a investigação. So, obviously, when someone is killed, it's, you watch these TV shows, it's a murder investigation, they don't stop. We work, I mean, Detective Sharp and I, everybody in the unit, we work just like we would for your brother, your mother, your cousins, your boyfriend. We work 24-7 for these families. That's our job. These fam this family is desperate. They need answers. They want to know what I happened. I understand, but it's like y'all want me to admit to something that I, I don't know. I told y'all what I know. I told y'all what I was doing over there. I should never been over there. I already told y'all. It's like y'all want me to just say I was shooting, which I was not shooting. I never pulled a trigger in there in my life. Okay. And I looked at Jaria and I said, I know you didn't. Because girls don't do that shit. D girls, girls don't have beef like that. Absolutely, but... You might, you might set a motherfucker up to get shot. That's what girls do. Not this one. I'm okay. Too, too but what I'm that. saying is, is I looked at both of you dead in your eye and I said, I know you didn't. But the information that we have, the shots came from your car. Do you have evidence? Yes. What evidence? Okay. The evidence is super strong against the occupants of that vehicle. Do I think it was you and Jaria? God, I pray to the Lord that you girls wouldn't go over there and shoot up that damn street. I pray to God. But two people shot from that car. How can you prove it? You will see through testimony and evidence that that came from that car. Okay. Okay? 
De acordo com ela, as duas não estavam no local, mas o que Marcia não sabia é que os policiais já tinham rastreado seu telefone. We know from your phone exactly where you were. That's why we kept your phone. You were there when the shots rang out. We know that. You couldn't have been anywhere else. You had to have been there when it, when it occurred. You had to have been there when those shots were fired. Because you both knew too much. What we can't get past is how those shots came from your car. If you're in the, if you're in the front passenger seat where you said you were, and Jari is driving, which you and her both said she was, if the two of you don't fire those guns, who did? Those shots were fired out my car to take uma parente de Márquia já tinha sido ouvida pela polícia E eles descobriram algo que revelaria toda a verdade De início, a moça disse que não sabia onde Márquia e sua amiga estavam Mas a investigadora usou toda a sua experiência Para conseguir tirar dela exatamente a informação que precisava Do you understand how difficult it is to get into medical school with a third degree felony? And, and you charge you, is this hard? It's very Especially difficult. Especially one tied to murder. It's very difficult. Medical schools don't look too kindly upon that. Mm. You were with these girls all day and all night. Yeah. And well, not really, because I was at work all um, Mm-hmm. What happened? Hey, funny. Tell it. What happened? I'm confused. That's all I'm talking about. You have a tell when you're not telling the truth, and it's and it, and, it, and your tell is that you laugh or you smile no. because you're uncomfortable. Actually, I laugh at every single thing. And it's just it's just when you're uncomfortable. No, I just laugh at everything. It's not like they really in a relationship because You don't, don't have to be in a relationship to be pregnant by someone. Jemiah, your sister's with him now. She's at his house right now. How do we know this and you don't? She's with him right now. She stayed the night with him last night. You're telling me I know more about her relationship than you? That's, that's ludicrous. I don't expect you to know everything. I do expect you to know things that girls talk about, like who you're dating, who might have gotten you pregnant, and I don't know, who might have murdered someone in my car. That's not something that happens every day. Your family is knee deep in this. A partir desse momento, Márquia e sua amiga se tornaram suspeitas de tentar encobrir os homens por trás do crime. Mas a verdade é que algo ainda não estava se encaixando nessa história até que Márquia disse algo que a condenou. Let me tell you something. My thing is, I wouldn't put my hand out to know, I wouldn't put my hand out to shoot nothing. This is going to identify me off for it. I got a tattoo that's going to identify. A few points ago, I think. You know what I'm saying? You didn't this, have them before. No, but this right here would identify. But you didn't have them before. I had this one before, yeah. Not when you stuck that one out the window over the hood of the car. You did not have that. I did not have this one, no. Correct. So mm, it wouldn't identify car. you. This so same whenever was on the what, what, what you just did, up over the roof of the car like that, shooting, mm -hmm. you did not have that tattoo. I'm saying I wouldn't do that because I know it's ways to identify me mm -hmm. and it's ways to identify because Jaria have a tattoo too on both mm -hmm. um, things. She I had know. words before her, so I know, I know I it's know. ways to identify. Sweetheart. I know, but you said that you had that and you didn't. No, day. I didn't say I had these. I'm saying these will identify me. A tattoo will identify uh -huh. me. I never said I had this because I know okay. I had this two weeks ago. All right. You just got it. Mm -hmm. I can tell the, the ink is fresh. It's brand new, yes. Mm -hmm. I just got it. Yeah, okay. I have tattoos too, so I'm familiar. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So at, at the moment that you shot out the vehicle over the roof of the car, 
There was not a tattoo on your forearm. Is I never that shot the vehicle the car. Okay. All right. Now this arm wouldn't have done the shooting because obviously you'd have had to shoot over her face. Basicamente, Mark a entregou que tinha feito uma tatuagem para tentar tirar as suspeitas de cima dela. Mas o que realmente a incriminou foi isso daqui. Either way, go. If I shot my hand this way or through the passenger, I got something that's going to identify, and I cannot deny these tattoos. Esse gesto era exatamente igual ao que a outra testemunha fez no começo das investigações. Mark a tinha se entregado completamente e finalmente ela revelou o que fez. I was told by the detective that they got witness saying the shots fired at my house, the car. They got witness saying that Marquia Hamilton was a shooter or whatever. Of this shooting? Yes. Oh, that you're the shooter? Yes. And I was a passenger. <coughs> and you were the pa their witnesses are saying you were the passenger? No, the, I'm telling you I was the passenger. Oh, but they're saying you were the driver. No, they're saying I was the shooter. The, sh the or, shooter. Their shooter. shots was fired at that car. Oh. Both of you shot. <coughs> are we done here? I'm not sure. I just want to tell you that um, the decisions that you make are, could very could very well affect the rest of your life. And it, you I know, understand, but I keep, it was no shots fired. Y'all want me to admit to something I did not I do. Never want you to admit to anything you didn't do. But here's the thing: you have to understand from from our standpoint, we have all this evidence, witnesses, GPS locations video all of these things do you guys have a gun showing that the that it did come out of that car did you guys have a gun i don't i don't know 99 of the time <coughs> when we convict people of murder we don't have them yeah. do was most there of gun the time residue we found on top of my car i don't know the answer to that. i don't know the answer to that. Okay, are we done then because if it's I'm, i'm ready to go okay all right <laughs> Só restava agora conseguir a confissão da outra suspeita. Did you girl shoot him? No. 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 Got the ball to shoot at nobody. I thought you wanted to be a snake. Not shooting at nobody for for what reason? To protect myself. Or for your country. Can't I do fingerprints? Or something. Fingerprints for what? She just asked me to shoot somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm not shooting nobody. Mm -hmm. Why is it that uh, folks are telling us that the gunshots came from your car? that all of the gunshots and believe me there was more more than five to seven came from your vehicle never owned a gun never touched a gun never even shot a gun did you loan the car to someone no did you i'm not i can't tell you what she did no no I'm, no because y'all were there i mean yeah we was together but you're, i mean you can because you were with her right yeah so unless you're lying about being there when the shots were fired I mean, and she had somebody else had the car y'all had it we right? Had the car. And what time was this? Around, she picked me up around 12 ish, 1 o'clock, like around. From Brandon's? Yes, I had texted her and I said, Cousin, come get me. I have to go to wash my clothes. Do you know where she was coming from? No, I do not. Because she had your car all night. I don't know where she was coming from. I see. So, obviously, the only person that had that car was y'all girls. Yeah. Ain't nobody. Shoot. No fim, as duas foram julgadas e condenadas à prisão. Mas por que elas dispararam contra Lebron? De acordo com o relatório policial, tudo aconteceu por um motivo muito bobo. Na noite em questão, Lebron quase se envolveu em um acidente com o carro de Márquia e as moças simplesmente se irritaram e dispararam contra o carro de Lebron. Ele estava no lugar errado e na hora errada. E o pior aconteceu. 